Look out y'all ashy knuckles. Let me do this um, Andre War Kovalev Pulse Fight video. First and foremost, I had Kovalev winning the fight. Um, I thought he fought great, a great fight early. Um, as soon as the fight started, you know, he found his range, boom, hurt the challenger early. Um, thinking that he had a deer in the headlights, the intent was to go in there and finish him, but to no avail, Andre Ward came to fight. He came to win. Uh, he came to put up a valiant effort because the guy, I mean, there was no doubt that he was definitely hurt. You know, Kovalev hurts guys uh, on accident. And um, what happened was is that um, Kovalev allowed Andre Ward to get back into the fight. Uh, he was winning the fight. I don't want to say he was winning the fight easily, but it damn sure looked as such because whatever he was doing was working. And Andre Ward trying to find his range, trying to mount some type of offense, wanted to bring the fight game on the inside. And Kovalev just would have none of it as he would tie him up as soon as Andre Ward would make a move to uh, mount an offense on the inside. Thus making it that much harder for Andre Ward to um, actually get some points on the scorecards early. But what would happen is uh, Andre Ward would find his uh, offense later in the fight. I mean, he never stopped trying to continue to fight on the inside. But when the referee allows a guy to tie you up, when you try to mount an offense on the inside, what do you do? Do you complain like a bitch or do you adapt? And what he did was adapt. And what he did was found home for those body shots. So the way Ward uh, battled back into the fight was counters to the body, leads upstairs with uh, body punches uh, in combination. And uh, actually, Kovalev really didn't have a, a, an answer for that. Yes, Kovalev kept establishing the jab. Uh, I think the jab did wonders for Kovalev during the fight because Andre Ward kept leading with a hook. And the lead hook was just not working for him all night long. And I think the, uh, the jab of Kovalev kept that lead hook and kept Andre Ward offset as it's supposed to do. I mean, we've done this... We've talked about this for years now. Uh, the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. The jab is going to beat the hook every fucking time. I don't know why these new school guys keep thinking you can lead with a hook as your, as, your, as your lead punch when fundamentally you're supposed to lead with a jab. And Virgil Hunter kept calling for the jab all night, but Andre Ward kept trying to lead with the fucking hook. And when he actually started leading with the jab, guess what? It worked. Imagine that. But still and so, you know, the middle rounds, he battled back into the fight by mounting uh, an offense to the body, uh, to which Kovalev had no defense because he's not really, really defensive. He's an outboxer with tremendous power. He's, he's a fundamental fighter with stupid power. And he worked to his strengths, and his strengths did not lie on the inside. That's why you kept, saw, kept seeing a lot of rough housing on the inside, a lot of tying up, and when they tied up, you saw a rabbit punch in behind the head, which is just a sign of frustration because he wasn't able to get an offense going during the middle rounds of the fight towards the later rounds in the fight that would actually do damage like what was done in uh, early in the fight. And Andre Ward was steady getting back into the fight. So you never really know what these judges are looking for. You know what I'm saying? You never know what they were looking for. I mean... I mean, I could easily see, you know, they probably felt that uh, Sergey Kovalev um, had Andre uh, as a deer in the headlights for the in the first half of the fight, and he allowed a guy that hurt, that physically uh, affected by the power of his punching power, to get back into the fight and mount an offense and actually score points on the cards, thus making the fight close. Close enough for the judges to actually find a reason to score for him. You know, we've seen these things hundreds of times. You got people saying that it's a robbery. Look, Garcia versus Peterson was way worse than this. And I've argued with people about that fight. All that fight did was show 
that Peterson outboxed him early and beat his ass late. There was nothing Garcia did that you can actually give him credit for winning any winning rounds in that fight. At least Kovalev did some shit. He knocked him down. He hurt him early. You know, he was outboxing him early uh, for the uh, early duration of the fight. And to me, I, like I said before, I had him winning the fight. I had him winning by a couple of rounds, a round or two. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have Andre Ward winning the fight, but I know there was a lot of close rounds. Some folks would call it swing rounds. And in those rounds, you never know how the judges are scoring it. You don't know what they're looking for. And there is uh, shades of gray when you think about the scoring criteria for a fight, which is defense, effective aggression, ring generalship, and defense. And they obviously favored Ward in that aspect. So you can't say it was a robbery. The scores did not indicate that. Now, when you got scores that's 114 to 113, typically uh, you don't want to see titles change hands with scores so low. And most importantly, you don't want to see unified titles change hands with scores like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, scores like that indicate it was nip and tuck, that it was back and forth, and it really wasn't. It really wasn't like that. You know what I'm saying? It was a close fight. Uh, Kovalev dominated earlier, but really fell asleep later. I mean, what really did he do from the half of the fight going towards to the end of the fight? He never hurt Andre Ward again. I mean, he still fought a great fight. It was a lot of thinking going on in there. But he was actually limited to what he can do, which is boxing from the outside. But when they got took away from him, what really did he do? And Andre Ward, what, what happened with him? What really did he do? He was a hurt fighter trying to mount an offense. He found his offense going through body shots because Kovalev would not allow him to work on the inside. And he had a referee that would allow, that would allow him to get tied up on the inside to the referee reset those guys on a break. So he did what he had to do to get to, you know, to get him off uh, um, offense going to where he can actually score points. So when I look at the way the fight went, which was a great fight, we had two skilled fighters in their primes, uh, two top elite athletes going at it on pay-per-view. Uh, it was the best fight of the night on a, just an absolutely shit boxing card. But that fight in the main event was worth every cent. Like, but like I said before, I had Kovalev winning. Let me say that a hundred times. Now I know you, the White Power boys, the White Power boys probably got Kovalev winning by 15 rounds. But you know, no nobody pay attention to them motherfuckers anyway. But you know, I had them winning by a round or two. You know, I try to be even kill. I try to keep it 100 at all times. Uh, obviously, I'm gonna go for the the guy that's actually from the United States that won a, a gold medal for us. And um, homegrown, and he actually carries himself with some type of class in public. But, you know, that's never good for the white power boys. But uh, other than that, you know, I got to keep it 100. And to me, he just did not win this fight at all. You know, to me, I think he endeared himself with the public because he fought like a true fucking champion, man. And he didn't give up even though he was down and not in, he was down but not out. But um, like I said before, I thought Kovalev won. I thought War fought like a great champion. I thought he did what he had to do. But at the end of the day, the fighters do not score the fights. The fighters do not score the fights. It was a Rock Nation and main events uh, promotion. I don't know who was the lead promoter. It probably was the, promote, uh, the promotional outfit uh, of the champion, which was uh, main events. Uh, wouldn't surprise me if it was Rock Nation. You know, the promotional outfit is the one who uh, pays the pays the judges. Everybody gets paid by the promoter, and um, but it's not like Rock Nation knows who uh, the judges to use in fights. They haven't been doing this that long. And on top of that, the Nevada State Athletic Commission is the one who saint uh, who saint, uh, sanctions which judges score uh, judge the fight on on the particular fight. Uh, so it ain't like Rock Nation just had this shit in the bag. So don't be blaming a promotional outfit. I'm sure some people probably blaming Al Heyman. Some people probably blaming Don King and Bob Arum. But the, at the end of the day, all you can do is go by what the judges say and go by what the scorecards indicate. It was a close fight. 
one that was dominated early by Kovalev, but Andre Ward will find his way back into the fight to where the judges actually felt that he wanted to fight more. I mean, I mean, I've seen fights like this all the time. This is not the worst robbery I've ever seen. This is not even the worst robbery I've seen. Robbery I've seen in the last few years. It's not even a fucking robbery. But the bottom line is, I had Kovalev winning, and I honestly do not want to see titles change hands with a 114-113 score. But it is what it is. I'm not a licensed judge, and uh, the judges saw it the way they did. Now, I would love to see a rematch. Props to Andre Ward for actually stepping up to a mighty challenge in the great Kovalev. Who, who earned every accolade uh, possible that he was actually given. He earned his spot on the pound for pound list, fighting the top notch fighters in the world, around the world within his weight class, like some other guys who ain't fought a motherfucker, who may be super skilled, but ain't fighting no goddamn body, but everybody just giving them fucking acc accolades, would re absolutely refuse to grow a pair, uh, talking about how he'll fight people from 154 to 175, but ain't fighting dick. And yeah, I'm talking about Triple G. Triple fucking G. Now, I've been on his bandwagon, but I'm also, I am also criticize the motherfucker, man. Kovalev goes after motherfuckers who are top-notch, who hot. Triple G don't do a goddamn thing. Man, don't nobody tell me a motherfucking thing about no goddamn Triple G no more. All these... Legit athletes out here begging for him to fight, and they want to talk about he the most avoided fight. Ain't nobody avoiding no goddamn Triple G. Yeah, do a great job going after retired fighters, man. Oh, good looking out on that. Fuck Triple G. But at the end of the day, my, my hat goes out to Kovalev. He fought a great fight. Um, let's have a rematch. Let's get it, man. Or go after Adonis Stevenson. Uh, Kovalev go after Adonis Stevenson or Andre Ward go after Adonis Stevenson. I mean, they just brought a whole new attention to the light heavyweight division. So let's get it, man. I mean, let's actually get it. And for all these goddamn media outlets who don't never cover boxing and all of a sudden they feel like they the top aficionados in boxing because they popular because they cover other sports. Get the fuck out of here. Don't you talk about no goddamn robbery until you can list what the scoring criteria for scoring a, prof a prof uh, blah, blah, blah. until you can list a the scoring criteria for a professional prize fight. List what the scoring criteria is and how you actually score a fight professionally before you start going on Twitter talking about robbery. Get the fuck out of here, man. These old fly by nights get on my goddamn nerves, man. But anyway, man, there's no robbery here. Close fight, good fight, one that was dominated earlier by the, the guy who appeared to be the stronger fighter. But the judges decided to ride with a guy who, who they felt wanted it more. And um, it's just the way that it is, man. It's just the way that the fight went. I scored it. When, this is my fifth time saying this shit. I scored it for Kovalev. I thought Kovalev won the fight. I thought the champion should have been respected as champion. And I thought the challenger, and most times when we watch a championship fight, that the challenger should go and take it from the champion. Obviously, the judges felt that's exactly what Andre Ward did. And I can't really argue with him on that because what did Kovalev do late? He didn't go and dominate. You had a guy who you were hurting easily, who you was outboxing easily. And it didn't happen like that late. Why? It's not because you decided not to. It's because of what the challenger was doing. Those are the ebbs and flows of a fight, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. That's the way it goes. A, 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 an elite professional fighter, pugilist, athlete, don't just stop dominating the fight because he just felt like it, like he felt like taking a goddamn nap. It's because of what the challenger is doing to make it that much difficult for him to do that. And what it was is Andre Ward found his rhythm, found his range, and found his offense. In lieu of fighting on the inside, which Kovalev would have absolutely none of. And that's what great fighters do. They find a way to get the W. So I'm not upset with it. Uh, I didn't agree with it. But at the end of the day, it was not a robbery. It was a close fight. One that went to the challenger. Let's get a rematch. Uh, I would say I would, I would like to know what the, how you had it. But I know it's going to be a lot of dumb motherfuckers posting comments. And I really don't want to hear that shit. Unless you're a real boxing fan. 
If you had Kovalev winning, guess what? You ain't alone. I just said I had Kovalev winning. You had Andre Ward winning, cool. But if you had Andre Ward winning 118 to 110, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit, man. Those motherfuckers need to just sit still and go sit down somewhere and just open their ears and just listen. Because obviously their eyes are deceiving them because they on some fanboy shit. Andre Ward didn't win no fight no 118, 110. And I heard all type of shit. I mean, I guess fuck the only round he lost was the one he went down. So, you know what I'm saying? Let's be 100 about it. You know what I'm saying? Let's be 100 about it. At the end of the day, it was a good fight. And the main event was worth every fucking cent. Congratulations to the new champ. Uh, Kovalev, sucks for you, homeboy. But I know you're going to battle back and get your titles. Or get a new title and, you know, unify this thing once and for all. But, uh... Guys like Harold Letterman. Why did this guy even get to score fights? This dude don't never score a fight correctly, man. These old guys need to get the fuck out the sport. Their eyes are too old. He talking about Andre Ward was holding the whole time, but it was Kovalev that was tying him up because Kovalev don't have no inside game. He don't want that inside action. And depending on what the, who the referee is, he don't have to fight on the inside because it all depends on what the referee will allow. And this referee, Robert Byrd, he really didn't care to see any inside action because he would have just took a, he would have just taken a point from the guy who was initiating the hold. But you know what? Taking a point would have dr dramatically reduced from the 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 uh, excitement of the fight, and I'm glad he didn't. He didn't want no inside action. He wanted these guys to box from the outside. It is what it is, man. They did it. They got it in. Great fight. Like to see it again. It's your boy Ash. Holla at your boy. I'm out.